Good afternoon. We're sitting out here on a piece of property, uh, and we've been running uh, this mulchery. This is the XA7000. It's the cellular, cellular model of this camera um, from AT&T. They also have Verizon, uh, you know, depending on where you're at, uh, service-wise. Um, these cameras are working pretty good. I've had them out there. I've got uh, a couple of these things running right now. And I've been pretty impressed with them so far. I'll walk you guys through through this camera. It's pretty simple. Um, you do have really good instru instructions there on the back on how to activate, bat you know, insert the batteries, format the card, and cons uh, confirm the success. And also instructions on your light colors on what they mean. Um, as you can see, we are running the Energizer lithium batteries. This camera, I believe, it is expected to be out there between four and six months. Uh, depending on you know how much uh, use it gets uh, but that's pretty good for you know 16 dollars 16 um, for your batteries but uh all you're doing there to get this camera going is your uh, you first got to activate the card and select your data plan but after that once you're actually in the field is all you're doing is flipping this on and then you'll format your sd card one thing i found out is you have got to have a SD card that has a 10 in that little circle right there this 16 gigabyte this is a 4 in there but you have got to have a 10 for those pictures to actually transmit an image to your phone uh, so it took me a little bit to figure that out um, but it does list on the instructions that it's recommended for that so we did switch it and it ended up working then you've got your batteries again green yellow and red and then you've also got your uh, connect and then your signal status so once it gets up and going your sd card and your battery card those will both show green and then at that point in time your signal should be kicking in along with your server blinking yellow so that's searching you know for all your uh, both your the signal and then the server so once it finds a signal it should turn green and then after that it should turn green on your server it may take a little bit I think most of the time it's about 30 to 45 seconds, you know, for this thing to uh, fully get going uh, for me. But it's been pretty impressive. I'll, I'll have some definitely some pictures um, in this video show you guys. Um, one thing on the app, you are able to, um, you know, they say it's a 20 megapixel camera. I believe it's probably sending you anywhere between a 5 and 10 megapixel camera uh, picture on your app. But you are able to... Um, actually download that high resolution 20 megapixel onto your app uh, off uh, you know, onto your phone there but again we're running the energizer batteries we do have this thing on uh, one of our uh, stick and pick connections those work out pretty good and then uh, you know just remember your sd card you've got a lot of a lot of settings on this camera you can do um, one thing that i do want to mention is it will take the uh, photo and video but you cannot transmit a video to your phone so just keep keep that in mind uh, before purchasing but overall you know the camera is pretty uh, a pretty nice camera uh, pretty heavy duty and um, I think uh, if you're looking to get into a uh, cellular trail camera um, I think this is probably one to look into uh, and just show you the back side of this you do have two brackets you know in, uh, in case you wanted to um you know lock that on there and it comes with a regular strap i might just select to use those stick and picks uh on almost all of our trail cameras so um hopefully you guys are getting out there in nature some and uh, best of luck on your upcoming deer and turkey season